All right, I'm working on this uh, forklift. Just uh, clean the carb. I didn't put a, a kit in it. I just had to uh, tear it apart so I could get the carb number off it while I was in there. I just cleaned it up a little bit. It was just horrible. Um, so I've got the, the, the kit number. I'll order the kit up and then I'll put it back in, uh, put in a fresh kit. Um, lubed up a bunch of stuff, got a new battery for it. Cleaned the fuel tank out. There's some old fuel that was in it, all that brown goo. Ran some new fuel through it. And what else did I do? Lubed up a bunch of stuff. Put the block heater on, warmed it up a little bit. And I haven't even turned this thing over. I don't even know if it'll go or if it'll turn over. So let's see. The throttle linkage on it, it's a little wonky. Um, it doesn't kind of really work too well. I don't know what's going on. I'm moving that. It's not even moving. But there's a couple of buttons here. Oh, oh. I see mostness. I know there's a choke on it. Quick start. We'll try that. Try to get that in. Just to see if she'll fire. if we have spark. Well, I pulled the plug out and checked for spark and there's no spark. So I'll grab my, uh, my multimeter at home and I'll come back and I'll check it out and see what's going on. Maybe the coil, the distributor cap was on backwards. So the, and it's brand new, brand new cap and rotor. So somebody has been messing with it, trying to get this thing going. Um, I mean, there's really not too much that can go wrong other than the coil. Um, the timing can be out with the distributor. It's old school, right? Prostolite type uh, ignition system on it, if you will. So, yeah. I'll probably grab an old coil and see what happens. Stay tuned. We're going to get this thing going. I know it. It's power mod style, man. We'll get things like this going. Huh? Did it with the jet engine. Did it with that girl. Going to do it with this one. <laughs> 